We're going to be working on some pails and rails for the shoulder. So we want to, uh, this is where you'll want your towel or your block, depending. And this is one of those optional things where we'd like you to experiment and feel what gives you the most information. But essentially, we're going to be trying to find a stretch through the front of the shoulder and the rib stuff, front of the arm, front of the shoulder stuff. And as we start to do some lift off from there, we want to make sure that the rib cage isn't coming with it. So this towel or block is going to help you know where your ribs are in space. So you're going to bring your arm up onto the wall such that your elbow is just slightly higher than your shoulder and at roughly a 90 degree angle for this first round. You're going to bow a stretch by turning your t-shirt logo away from that arm, opening up tissue on the front side and feeling things closing down on the back side. And then you're going to place that towel or block right against so that you can place your ribs onto it and know where they are. And then you can hunt around for where your feet need to be so that you feel maximum relaxed and supported in this position. Your other arm can also be on the wall or just down by your side, whatever feels good. So take a few breaths into this stretch and check in that your neck isn't carrying too much tension here. I'm going to try to let the neck be free. You can do some gentle looking side to side, nodding yes and no, making sure you're not gathering too much tension there. Thinking of slow breath in and a slow breath out to try to relax that tissue that's on stretch, but also really zero in on where you feel a stretch sensation. That is the beginning of that layer of foundation of what we're looking to change. So we want to really bring our awareness to it such that when we start our pails contraction, you know exactly what we're trying to contract. Take a few more deep breaths here. <sighs> Good. Nice. <clears throat> okay. So now as we start the pails, we want to really freeze frame everything about your position. So nothing is going to change orientation in space. You're just going to start to put a little extra pressure into the wall with your elbow and your hand, maybe your forearm if you've got good contact there. But think about those two points starting to apply a little bit more pressure to the wall. Slowly and gradually ramp your way up to what feels like a 50% effort for you. So if 100% is your maximum effort, I want you to work your way up to a 50% effort. Good. And now really brace your body in that position, abs, legs, glutes, 10 toes pushing into the floor, and then ramp up your effort of pushing into the wall up to 80%. Really strong, but still not your max. You want to feel like you're both trying to close your arm in front of your face and trying to push your hand through the wall for five, four, three, two, stay in position, one. Now try to make your arm as light off the wall as you can, getting contraction through any of this back of shoulder stuff. Yes, Lily, you're doing so good. Really lean your ribs into the towel and just try to make your elbow and your hand as light as you can. I don't expect any movement, but if that wall were a scale, we'd be trying to get it to register zero pounds of pressure for five. Yes, four, Woo, three. You got this. Two, stay in position. One, slowly relax. Try to stay in position and melt that effort away. Then you can come out of position and wiggle and 